Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I've been cheating. She knew that point was inevitable because I'm on an emulator and I know I'm, I have no choice to, to do that for some aspects. So I thought, you know what? Let's just speed up some things. And as a result of the prize counter here, I got a whole bunch of Venusaur, I got a whole bunch of Mew, a whole bunch of Bill's computer. And a whole bunch of present packs to boot. I mean, loads and loads of present packs. Uh, because I got unlimited coins with a cheat just to speed things along. Because I was like, at the rate that I was getting those coins, I would finish in the next 10 years. So I was like, eh, maybe I should just speed things along here for the sake of the walkthrough, otherwise I'd never finish the walkthrough. I mean, if I'm gaining coins, you know, I'm just gonna keep gaining coins anyway, so... It would just be a matter of time before I get all the coins that I need, but anyway, I left uh, 500 or so in my bank account for the sake of the Jigglypuff coin, which is all the way at the far side there, and now I wish I unlocked this, the present pack times 3, because it's more cost effective and faster than present pack times 1. But, you know, with unlimited coins, it's still basically the same with the present pack times 1. Um, anyway, I'm done with that. <laughs> So yeah, you don't usually get the three prize pack, but I couldn't unlock that until I got the coin on camera. And now that I did that, we can just... <laughs> anyway. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and show you the Mew and Venusaur. It was this one. Yeah, I got... I wasn't really counting, I was just kind of mashing through. I got five copies. You can basically heal yourself and defending Pokémon, so it can be like a... double-sided, uh, you know, double-sided sword dealio. <laughs> sort of thing, but uh, this actually could be pretty handy if you have terrible luck like I do, and you get par paralysis by Lickitung every turn, so, <laughs> so I think this is going to be more lopsided towards you than the opponent, because you're the one who chooses when to use it, you know? And Mega Drain heals equal to half the damage. This is one of the Phantom cards in the original game of the... Uh, a Pokemon trading card game. Also a promotional card that came with the player's guide. Uh, now for the other phantom card, which I guess is technically not a phantom card anymore, because of you can get it in the game without card pop, is the Mew with the mystery attack. It does a random amount of damage and may do a random effect. The random effect, it's fairly rare, so you can't just like get effects all the turn all the time despite what it implies, and the random amount of damage is not like any sort of amount of damage. It, it's usually up to like 10 or 20 or so, somewhere around there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're not gonna be doing 300 damage, one attack, 150, another attack, yeah, so it's... There's a limit to how much damage you can do with the mystery attack. So rare that it is said to be a mirage by many experts. Only a few people have seen it worldwide. And also, as long as I was cheating with the coins, I figured as long as I would ev eventually, in theory, get the coin flip Mew, you know, ten coin flips in a row, I got a bunch of copies of these really quick, so I sharking them in. Got the neutralizing shield, it stops everything from evolved Pokémon, so... You can kind of use this to stop anything evolved as well, you know, implied by that, but basic Pokemon will probably chew through it pretty quick, especially if they can do 20 damage per attack, because it can do, yeah, it's only got 40 HP. Oh, and the Psy Shock uh, can cause paralysis. You know how Psy Shock works, basically, in that. Uh, colorless! The other... Uh, Phantom card. Oh, along the way, got one of these in one of those many packs of present packs that I got. You know this Kangaskhan, I don't really have to introduce it per se. Uh, also, oh, also got uh, regular Snorlax, like this jungle variety here. This is kind of funny. Snorlax so, can't become asleep, confused, paralyzed, or poisoned. This power can't be used if Snorlax is already asleep, confused, or paralyzed. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess maybe that's there because of Dark Muck. I mean, not, excuse me, not Dark Muck, just regular Muck because of the, uh, it, it's Pokemon power stopping ability in that you have, uh, that you could then cause something to Snorlax and then if 
that muck gets knocked out, Snorlax will then retain that status condition. But that is a really specific scenario. So it's like they just copied and pasted this power can't be used if Snorlax is already asleep, confused, or paralyzed from all other Pokemon powers. Just because. And Body Slam, it may cause paralysis. It's a pretty expensive attack, though, so. <laughs> the 90 HP is pretty respectable. So. Uh, now for the other Phantom card Lugia, Aeroblast. Yes, there's a Lugia in here. I've seen the credits. Flip two coins. This attack does 20 damage plus 20 damage times number of heads. It's kind of a reference to how high of a critical hit ratio Aeroblast has in the main games, which is 50%. Uh, but it's sort of kind of pricey unless you have double colorless energy because you're going to be averaging 40 for 3 energy. So otherwise it would be 40 for 2 energy, which is then not too bad. <laughs> But 100 HP, that's probably what you're going to be wanting to use, use it for. And at the bottom here, I think this is a reference to a story. It sleeps in a deep sea trench. If it flaps its wings, it is said to cause a 40-day storm. Is that what happened with Noah? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, the other phantom. That's right, 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 right. One more. This is another one that you have to get with card pop, like the Lugia. Uh, but I can't do that because of the, uh, um, yeah, here it is. Here comes Team Rocket. Uh, each player plays with his or her prize cards face up for the rest of the game. Yeah, you could use that combining with the Mankey. Let's you swap cards around, then you can pick the prize cards that you want on your next turn. Or just pick the prize card that you want in general. But, you know, it can help the opponent as well. Also, it is one of the rarest of the rares back in the days, being a White Star Rare in the uh, Team Rocket booster, so yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, another one that I got, as long as I'm here. Pokemon Recall. I mentioned this before, that at least I think I mentioned it before, that I think it was mistranslated and it's supposed to be Pokemon Retransfer, which would make more which would make more sense because of the uh, effect that it has. Take an evolution card from your discard pile, throw it to your opponent, and put it on the top of your deck. So instead of it coming to your hand, which would sound more like a recall, putting it from your discard pile to the top of your deck, which is still inaccessible for the time, makes more sense because it's a retransfer. And that's also how it was given the name uh, on the translation at Bulbapedia, so I, I figured it would be more accurate if I just put Pokemon retransfer in the deck lists whenever this one came up. So, anyway. <laughs> um, also something that I don't really think I showed before when I got the Zapdos. Now that I'm not even sharking stuff anyway. Uh, <laughs> Thunderstorm Zapdos. Uh, for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, flip a coin. If has a stack, does 20 damage to that Pokemon. But it does 10 damage to itself times the number of tails, so that could be a little bit risky. Just, just a little bit risky. Oh wait, did I show the Gengar 2? Hold on, hold on. Because I got a regular... Yeah, I don't think I showed this. Uh, you can move damage counters from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another. I got this in the present packs as well. Uh, so you could use this to knock out Pokemon sort of like plus power, but it'll technically heal the other Pokemon by that 10 as you use it. So use it whenever you can kind of throw off the opponent, basically. And this will do basically 40 for 3, but 30 to the active, 1 to the bench. So it's kind of like a bench sneak attack of Delio, and that should be pretty good, I would say. So let's put our chips back over here, and I'll, I'll leave the the cards at the uh, Bill's computer there for later when I do like all sorts of trades and stuff like that. So anyway, let's go over to Challenge Hall and see if this is finally going on here. I think it's actually. It's going to be at the other one first off. Um, I've been preparing my deck to the best of my ability for this moment. I've got to impress King Villasini. My time has finally come. Well, wish me luck. I'll return once it's all over. Uh, the Challenge Cup isn't going on. Or, or do you mean you're just going to go battle Villasini? King Villasini holds the King Cup competition frequently. Thus, it'd be best if you came back now and then in case it's going on. You might miss it if you stay away for too long, you know. Hmm... Nope, that's definitely a problem. Oh, it's just the same trade from before. Uh, Bill's computer. 
<laughs> I, 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 I kind of don't need that now, so... <laughs> That's right. You're currently leaving for the next King Up competition. Wait, didn't I see you participate in the last competition? No. Please make sure you come back for the next King Cup too. Man, was there one I didn't know about it? I yeah, I don't know if there's any sort of trigger points to these like they were in the first game. So anyway, um, over here is something new, by the way. This is a GR challenge machine. It's free to play, if you like. This is like the challenge machine at the Mason Laboratory, but if you can get a 50 win streak, you'll be awarded a coin. Uh-huh. That could take a little while, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, this particular challenge cup is not going on this now, so I guess you should go check out the other sort of challenge cup, because that's what I plan on doing this part besides catching you up on the the cards and the treats and stuff that I used. <laughs> As I said, it was inevitable in the walkthrough at some point, and since I do believe we beat everyone anyway, yeah, we kind of showed that we were able to do that without any sort of cheats, so now it's cheat time. <laughs> oh, no, no, not the, not the dome. Challenge Hall! And, oh no, this is this one isn't going on either? It'd be the mu it would have music if it was going on. Hey, uh, hey, I'm anti, uh, just fine. Maybe it's sounding selfish, but give me an almanite level 19! Of course, I'll trade you something in return. How about a lapis level 31? I really appreciate if you can help me out. <laughs> Let's see. What an achievement! I got my Almanite level 19! Here's your new Lapras level 31! Woo! I kind of needed more copy of those in general, even though, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I know I'm. Wait, actually, did I have four of them already, or. You're welcome! Wait, I just. Did I have four? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter at this point, but. I, I could have swore I needed more, or I think a Hitmonchan that I needed more of. Uh, where is... Okay, now I have four of them. See, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't think I had a full set of four of them, so I might as well. Oh, I guess I might as well show um, the Ammonite that I traded. Was the one with that uh, um, supporting effect, I do believe it was. That oh, poop is. Oh no, it was this Omni, the clairvoyance. Your opponent plays with your hand face up. So it's kind of like a. Um, Eye of Truth from Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> it stops working when the sleep confuse it paralyzed. And the water gun is the usual water gun 10 plus 20 for every energy up. I mean, 10 plus 10 for every energy except for a limit of up to 20, excuse me, and 40 HP. So yeah, that was the one that I treated. Not, not that big of a deal or anything like that. I would definitely play the Lapras over that, you know? Uh, it seems like every time there's a challenge cup, I'm too busy. When I happen to make it to one, I lose in the first round. I have the worst luck. Well, I have a Venusaur for you, my friend! <laughs> the challenge cup is currently in recess, so oh, man! Oh man! I wanted to do one of these challenge cups, so I was hoping that would be going on. So, welcome to challenge cup. Preparations are currently being made for the next challenge cup. Please return at a later time when everything is completed. Uh, we saw a new challenge cup in a short while. I've seen you record a number of times before. Hope you I was not here that many times. I hope you come again. The more players that join in, the more fun the event becomes. I guess that was like pre made dialogue in anticipation of people checking back here periodically to see when one is going on. I don't know when these actually happen. As I said, it's different than it was in the first game, and it's not. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not the same as it was. Uh in terms of the like when it happens and trigger points and stuff like that I'm gonna just try and reset the see if I can get one to appear somewhere in this century <laughs> uh, no what if I just reset with, without saving or do I or do I have to save in order to reset the trigger point or something like that nope, nope. just automatically pressing up when I get the and cuz I, I don't know I might have to save in between attempts just to try and get one going here. <laughs> I could always go over to uh, one of those dang. <laughs> I could always go over to the Mason Laboratory and try out the machine, you know, to duel and for a five streak and and whatever. But yeah, it's just not looking like I can get a challenge cup going right now. But I'll, I'll try a few more times and see if I can get it. Oh! 
Oh! Oh! Oh, it worked on the next time! Yes! <laughs> so that's, yeah, it's pretty randomized. And yeah, I did save after every attempt, just to see if I could kind of move the counter forward, if there is some sort of counter, so to speak. So here we go! Hello, welcome to the challenge hall! Current challenge cup is almost over. What? So you inside if you wish to participate. Um, not yet. <laughs> We're fine as long as they're standing in the building. Aha! Hey, I'm in. So yeah, I'm just fine. Use this mark to a Bill's computer card. Another one. <laughs> this is the card I want for it, though. I'm gonna trade for a haunted level 17. No, no, that, I don't have that many of those haunters. <laughs> and, no, and no Bill's computer card for me. No soup for you. I'll be in high spirits waiting to trade for that haunted level 17. Yeah, he, he, he has different trades on occasion. Uh, I don't think in my head is that. <laughs> Kids here and it's a fish challenge cup hat. Well, even if you don't want it yourself, isn't it cool? Yes. Challenge cup is a lot of fun. Hmm, am I gonna participate? No, I just like to watch and learn new strategies from the players. But you gotta play yourself to really get the hang of things. Team GR also has their own challenge cup that should be starting soon. I know, I know, I'm trying to get, <laughs> trying to get these going. The alternating cups give everyone more chances to win new prizes. So I guess the one starts here and then goes over to the GR one, you know, back and forth. And maybe at least implied by the dialogue. Maybe? Might be? Anyway, let's save our game here. So that we have as many chances as we need. I think we gotta talk to the person on the left. We are currently accepting new cha- On the other side, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking- <laughs> <laughs> was it over? No, 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 it's just, just they aren't you know, accepting new challengers on that side. You speak to the receptionist on the other side of the stage. So, yeah, that's that's what I remembered. Was, that's why I wanted to talk to this side, not, yeah. But I didn't remember that exact dialogue. We're currently holding a Challenge Cup tournament. The winner of the tournament will win this flying Pikachu car. Oh, man. <laughs> I already got well, that, well, two of those, actually, with different artwork. But I would like to do the Challenge Cup anyway, just in general, so... First two matches are with four prize cards. Lose once and you're out. Save between matches. <laughs> Final match is a no-holds-barred duel with six prize cards. New participants can register here with me. Would you like to participate in the Challenge Cup? You bet I do! I've been... Kinda doing nothing for the past 17 minutes or so. <laughs> okay, I haven't been doing nothing. I've been catching you up, exploring, getting the coin, you know what I mean. And Challenge Cup is well underway, and we may have our champion soon! Uh, sh should they have let a new entrance in versus Hat Kid? <laughs> I'm not sure, I think it's gonna mess up their brackets, but anyway. Presently, Brittany is the contender to beat, remember her? Everyone here should recognize this new challenger, the one that destroyed everyone with the energy removal! <laughs> It's the Pokemon Card Master Mint! You both ready? Place your four prize cards first. Now then, let's start the competition! Toxic Punishment Deck! Alright, so I'm gonna try and chew through everyone as quick as possible because now I don't have to show their decks. So that means I can show my deck to its fullest, and unless I have some bad draws or something like that. But anyway. <laughs> Oh, I should have switched coins. Well, I guess I could do it after. Anyway, let's headbutt that Tangela. You know, I think I'd out end up outlasting that Tangela, because I got the energy removal. But we'll see. <laughs> so, oh, 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 there's the Weedle that Toby Chan used. But not really much of it. <laughs> not much of anything else in, in terms of the Weedle li the line. So, anyway, energy removal on that. Unfortunately, I can't trade for anything right now, but I'll get the seal power up for Dugong in case I'm able to get a Pokemon in the future to trade for. I don't know... Wow. Triple energy removal attack. <laughs> and headbutt. So, that, yeah, that Tangela is not, not gonna get off the ground if I can help it. Especially since I'm uh, kind of lacking the critters on my side. <laughs> I don't know if I should attach another Ojatini. Uh, well... Should I put it on the bench, or should I just go Dugong, just Sweeper? I should probably try going Dugong. Because <laughs> chances are I'll be able to get the win just by sweeping her with that. Because like, she's not really able to... Well, assuming I have a... There you go. <laughs> assuming I have a Dugong to do its thing. And this time, no energy removal, we're just gonna Aurora Beam. 
And that is how it's done. So there's the Weedle. And now I can one-hit KO that bad boy. It's gonna try, probably try and poison- Oh, no, he can't. <laughs> I'm gonna try and- Is she out of energy? Is she- Wait, what? Yep, she's out of energy. Okay. Uh, then I guess I'll just... Ice Beam the per- Oh, that's right. I, I'm, I need to plop on- I was gonna say Ice Beam to, uh... See if I can prevent a retreat. And that seemed to be successful. And she might use Defender again. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> uh, water. I got no other Pokemon. I'm just gonna Aurora Beam my way to victory. Because my deck is probably a little OP for her <laughs> at this point in the game. Um, like actually, I should probably plop that on there, and actually, I'll plop you on there as well. I'm just getting hasty here. <laughs> no, I actually should have attached an energy card too, but I, I just figured I'm, I'm in the winning position, so I, I think I'm, I'm already pretty good. Paralysis could happen, and it does. So where's my Venusaur? <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's ten damage. Big whoop. Wait, Jigglypuff. TD. Let's go and get a Wigglypuff, <laughs> a Wigglytuff down there, and yeah, no attacks for me. So we are done. And she may perpetually get heads, or not. <laughs> and the way I'm talking, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm talking late in terms of what's going on on the screen there. I don't know why. I'm not as in sync as I usually am, but I guess it doesn't matter, because I won already. <laughs> Sorry, Brittany. My deck. It's just too powerful! Too powerful! Mint has won the match! What a true Pokémon card master! That was a spectacular duel, Mint! You remain undefeated! Woo! Bad luck, Brittany. Please try again next time. <laughs> next challenger, please come up on the stage! And... Please meet our challenger new... <laughs> Why did... Not please! Meet our new challenger, Robert! Next deal will be for four prize cards. Would you like to modify or change your deck? Why? Yes, I would! <laughs> if I change my deck, I mean, I kind of want to change my coin more than, <laughs> more than anything. And also save in between the games, just in case things go south. And no, Mint is not ready. Let's start the match! Phantom Deck! Dun 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 dun. That's not that dangerous. I know. <laughs> uh, what who should I put out this time? Mm. 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 <laughs> Did a sort. Um, I don't know. Staryu's got lower HP than Jigglypuff, but Jigglypuff takes two energy to. I mean, I have Pokemon Trader, so I can do more with that. So maybe I'll just go Staryu and then set Jigglypuff on the bench and then maybe go for a Starmie. We shall see how things... Oh, Professor Oak. <laughs> we shall see how things go, but in the meantime, I'm gonna slap. And look at that, he's got a Jigglypuff as well. I think the wave could be coming. The wave of doom. Well, he's got to have more Pokemon on his, on his bench for it to be Doom, but details! Uh, but yeah, since I got Professor Oak, now I really do think I'm gonna go for the Wigglytuff. Because with the power of the Professor, we can trade in, say, a Dragonair for that Wiggly. Well, I, well, Pokemon Trader is giving me the power to do that, but I mean with the power of the Professor Oak, I can use that to get myself a bunch of Pokemon on the bench when the time is right, even double colorless energy. In the meantime, I think I'll just kind of... Oh, you're just... Oh, you're not going to attack Staryu at all? Interesting. I thought you would have at least tried to nick away some HP off of my star, but I guess not. Oh, oh sure, now I get it. <laughs> well, I can officially use that Professor Oak then, since I got a Wigglytuff out on the field. So I guess I'll focus more on that than any sort of dugong is my Dragonair back. Though maybe it's not the same copy. Who knows? Who knows? Uh... I don't already did that, so... We're done. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's go to the next turn, if we can. I'm pretty sure Stuggy's gonna end up waking up eventually, right? Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> now I'll be able to knock out the Jigglypuff. Oh, oh, energy removal. That's gonna be used on the other Jigglypuff for sure. Let's go and plop this, I guess, on the Wigglytuff in the meantime, and slap. I'll probably be able to knock out my Star Use soon enough, but in the meantime, I'll be able to use my Star Use beatdown tactics and hopefully, potentially, outspeed the Jigglypuff into its oblivion. Well, by oblivion, I mean fainting. <laughs> Uh, wait, actually, I should probably pop that on there and power it up instead of others at this moment in time, and slap. There we go. And now, on the next turn, I can switch into Wigglytuff and outright win the game, so... Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right, he put something on the, the bench, so that's that's a no-go. Well, I mean, he just put something on the bench. Man, I cannot... I, I am not in focus today, am I? Um... I could trade for a basic to power up the wave more, but I have enough to knock out the Jigglypuff now. So I'm just gonna wave and let him do whatever. In fact, it's still gonna take me two attacks to knock out that Jinx anyway, so I still won't really need to trade for any basics, although I just got, got one there. Uh, now that I have the Dratini combined with the Dragonair, I might as well power up that critter if it's needed. And Gasly's on the bench, so this is going to be playing out to a full four prize cards. Kinda. <laughs> if, if you want to call it that. And do the wave. There we go, and... Gasly as expected E. Oh, energy removal, going to try it on the Wiggly. Yep. So that could actually stall me out, or, or not. <laughs> Nah, I already had the water energy, but just, like, just in general. Oh, he doesn't have any energy for me to even use the energy removal. Ah, uh, Well, maybe I shouldn't just... <laughs> yeah, I'm really not thinking here, but I won anyway, so... <laughs> I guess that's why. I feel I'm just too dominant. I'm getting... I'm getting all complacent. Yeah, I even forgot the bench is full now, dang it. Fine, just do the wave and end the game. <laughs> I'm not all there, dang it. Alright. Game. Set. Match. A PK game. Because it's only one game match. Congratulations, Vince. You got two total wins. You're well on your way to becoming the champion. Oh, bad luck, Robert. Please try again next time. <laughs> Next pe battle will be a full six card, per six prize card. Ball. Wow, I'm man, I suck. <laughs> well, who is the next challenger? Someone. <sighs> I was gonna say the last one is always someone prominent, but this, this. <laughs> oh, what a surprise! It's Ronald. I'm sorry to say it, but you're going to lose to the mighty Ronald. <laughs> Like the modifier change your deck? I would like to. It's mainly just to save my game though. <laughs> so he's gone up against my deck of death. <laughs> Alright. And you know, I could still improve this deck too, by the way, with more energy removal and draw and something. But yeah, I, but I'm just kind of playing with the cards that I didn't cheat to get at the moment. <laughs> Wait, would you like the modifier change your deck? I mean, this is your third and final challenger. Begin! Ronald's psychic deck is here! Alright, <laughs> we even got his music! Let's go! Um. I don't have much of a choice here. Well, alright. We shall hope for the best, and if not, that's why we saved our game. <laughs> Quickly tough. Pop that on the seal and begin attacking the Dratini. Call it a turn. And yeah, Ronald is probably one of the better challengers that you can come across too, so... Uh, well, he's not even attacking my seal? Interesting. Do I want to even bother with the Ghastly, like, removing its energy? I don't know. In all honesty. <laughs> hmm... I'll think about it, I'll just headbutt for now. <laughs> Good 
because, yeah, nothing that he has right now can outright knock out my seal. Even with the polter poltergeist. So, yeah. Anyway, a dragon arrow. Kind of don't need that. I'll plop that on the seal, though, in case for the future. Maybe I will wipe it out off that haunter and then a headbutt. Just because of poltergeists. I mean, I, I don't think I'm going to accumulate that many trainer cars, but still. But still. <laughs> Okay, there's a seal. We have a backup. I repeat, we have a backup! But we don't have energy for it, so just headbutt that Dratini away and hope we get a Duke on. <laughs> okay, Bill, that might that might be pretty nice. Uh, well, he's gonna get a little extra damage with the Poltergeist. Well, actually, come to think of it, uh, that's kind of the only, yeah, so maybe that Poltergeist wasn't as much of a thought. Wasn't, wasn't as much of a threat as I thought. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm just... I don't know, I'm just not paying much attention today, am I? It's, it's too bad, it's too bad. I'm, I have a powerful deck in my hands, and I am too out of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'll just... Wait, 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 actually... Should I attach a double call list to the other seal? Like, in case of a dugong? I just, I don't know if I want to save it for the dragon air or not, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's headbutt. And call it a turn. I'm not gonna be able to use the super energy removal or anything like that, because he's totally out of energy. Oh, dark. Oh, 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 that Gengar actually could be... If he would have played that, that would have been a pretty big issue, actually, because he could have popped that critter back to my... Th yeah. <laughs> I got dugong. That's pretty nice to see. So, the Aurora Beams have begun! I could have Ice Beam that, but he seems to be lacking in energy, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Yeah... Uh, is he, like, I mean, he, like, he seems to be focused on something else at the moment in time, like, I, I don't know... I don't know... I'm gonna use energy removal on that Haunter. And Aurora Beam, that Haunter away. We got the Holy Water. And we took care of that poltergeist like no one's business. Only there's another poltergeist waiting in the wings. I just got that Professor Oak. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's 20. I'll be using my stuff. Well, I'll definitely use this. I don't think I'll use the super energy remo removal. Uh, I guess. I have both of my Dragonair in the hand, yeah, and with a Wigglytuff, but I really, truly think I should Professor Oak this time, even though I got a bunch of stuff, because I don't have that much in reserve, I need more energy cards and stuff like that, and yeah, so I'm just gonna do that, and I suppose the Aurora. Kinda do as much damage as I possibly can before the Poltergeist resumes its damage. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really care about the 10 damage for the Professor Oak, because Professor Oak is kind of nice to use when you need to use it, you know? <laughs> it's kind of worth it. <laughs> uh, I'll go for the Lapras, and... Oh, Robbie, yeah. <laughs> I am paid attention there! <laughs> I was just joking around, I was flip-flopping around. And... no energy. Good to know. Plop that on the Lapras for the future, and the Aurora Beam. There we go. I think... I think we got this one, guys! <laughs> it's just... just as you'd expect with <laughs> this deck. I mean, it, it, I'm sure it's possible to lose with this, but... It certainly doesn't feel like it lately. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so balanced. It's, you know, it has an answer to pretty much anything. Even if it can't do everything at once, you know what I mean? And... And... Back to me, but... That one energy is not really gonna cut it, will it? No... I mean, it, it might go for the... I mean, he might go for the... Ultra Mega Recovery dealio, but... Eh... That's just a Roar Beam. I was thinking, eh... If he wants to burn his energy on that, he can. I suppose, if he really wants to, but...
But he didn't have energy to do that. <laughs> oh, I forgot to attach an energy. I was getting back on track to playing well, dang it. <laughs> and I ran him out of Pokemon in play. Sorry, Ronald. Even with my awkward start, I was able to win with this deck. Congratulations! He found our tournament winner! What bad luck, Ronald. Please try again next time. We found the winner of the Challenge Cup. A true Pokemon card master. It's Mint! Woo! Yay! Wait, where's the fanfare? It's like they knew this deck was gonna win. He's like, eh. <laughs> Here you go, Mint! Your new Flying Pikachu card! Woo! One with the plane in the background! Yay! Happy days! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Happy days with the bye! I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> Mint, once more! Congratulations! Okay, there's not much of a crowd here, is there? Hmm... Challengers who already played may not participate in the same cup. Please try again in the next Challenge Cup competition. What do you mean, try again? It's completely over! <laughs> or did you mean just like... I don't know. We aren't currently accepting new challenges here, so... Okay, same dialogue. Alright! Anyone have any... Th so, Mint, how'd you do? Well, win or lose, the Challenge Cup is far from over. <laughs> we all Challenge Cup competitions on a regular basis. Even if you go over to GR Island, please stop by to participate later. Okay... I'm just trying to see if there's any different dialogue after winning. I don't think so. Certainly doesn't look like it. Alright, so with that, I shall end the part here. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part when I go flop back over to GR Island and uh, you know, try and beat that challenge cup. I think it's going to be a little bit harder than the one we just played in.